Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles, right here in Mansfield, Texas. I'm here today to show you a really interesting RV. It's a MCI, which stands for Motor Coach Industries. Back in the day, it was the top tier bus chassis. Rides on airbags, super smooth. I'm going to show you the good things and the bad things. Around, it does have a few little dents and dings as you kind of walk around it. It does have some nice aluminum wheels. The tires front and rear have less than 500 miles and they're in excellent shape. It's got a lot of storage. It just needs to be kind of vacuumed out. We're a motorcycle dealer so we don't normally sell RVs. We do get a, a bunch of them as a trade-in. So the way you see it is the way we got it. We haven't washed it or cleaned it or anything. These are the holding tanks, the fresh water, the gray water, and the hot water heater. But the quality is just amazing. All these latches, they're like super industrial strength. It's got a hub meter on the back. Again, very, very fresh tires. Fresh tires on the tag axle. And I've got a receipt for the rebuilt Detroit diesel. It's got about 500 hours on it. The receipts total about $16,000, and that was done fairly recently. Walking around the other side, you can see the controls for your dump station, your water pump. These things close really nice. Again, they're, they're made industrial strength. It's got a power inverter. There's your uh, propane bottles. Close this, this down. It's got a very large fuel tank for the Kubota diesel generator. I don't know how big that is, but I'm going to guess it's 40 gallons, maybe 50. It has a Kubota diesel generator which that little motor will run forever. You don't have to worry about it. It's high, high quality. You can kind of look around real close and you can see little dents and dings in the stainless steel and aluminum panels. <coughs> the windshield does have a star right here and there's a crack that runs up about 10 inches. Well, let's take a look inside because there's, there's a lot to love in this RV. It does have power steering. It's got the traditional bus type steps and when you get inside the bus now it's nice and quiet it's got a cb aim fm stereo you got a backup camera so you can see what's behind you there's all your controls your fast idle your headlights tail lights generator controls to start and stop the generator the seats have seat covers on them they could probably stand to be recovered. It's got a nice flat screen TV right here. And your remote controls are right here on this ledge. The wood in this thing is amazing. It's really, really thick cabinetry. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. But I've got a lot of receipts from the previous owner for the motor, you know, doing a lot of maintenance work on it. This couch is functional. It's just got some wear and tear on it. You can see right here the seam slipping, but you can just put a couch in here that converts to a bed. It's got one of these little Amish fireplaces, which is kind of cool. Kind of sets the tone when you want to relax. Overhead lighting. It's got three carrier roof air units to keep it cool. Walking back to the back, you can see all the woodwork. They don't make them with this thick wood anymore. I mean, that's this conversion was done in 1996, back when they didn't worry about the weight. They wanted quality. It does have a sharp carousel. Looks like a microwave convection type oven, microwave oven. There's a cookbook in there. It's got a nice little table. There's three chairs. And there's a drawer here that's got all the books and paperwork, information on the Kubota diesel generator. And those oil filters that are on the other side are for the Kubota. This has something I've never seen in an RV. It has a stainless steel dishwasher, which that's pretty cool. 
It's got a four burner cat gas stove. They put that cardboard there so it won't rattle going down the highway, but it looks like it's hardly ever been used. Got a vent hood. This little tray here gives you extra cabinet space, counter space rather. You got nice double sink, a nice Norcold over under refrigerator. It's, it's a very large one, larger than you typically see in a in an RV. But the headliner is is done in vinyl. And back here on the back, you got a nice big shower door. Nice good sized shower. It's got a little catch here to keep the, the door from coming open when you're running down the highway. But the bathroom is wide, there's lots of room. And again, lots of nice woodwork. Beautiful, beautiful woodwork. There's a medicine cabinet. You got shelves to put your stuff. Plenty of lights. Vanity lights, overhead lights, and this is really the kind of the surprise, I think, besides the dishwasher. It also has a washer and a dryer. Go figure. So you can wash your clothes, dry your clothes, sit by the fireplace, wash your dishes. There's lots of great cabinets. I want to show you how deep these cabinets are here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they go way, way back. A nice shelf there to put books and magazines. Nice deep closets, one on each side. <coughs> you got a little shelf back here if you want to put a TV. It's got these floor heaters which are radiant and they really, really put out the heat. They're pretty, pretty amazing. Again, you can see the how thick the wood is. This is an old school coach, but it's it's really cool. They also hooked up electronic cruise control. So you can get it up to about 70 and set the cruise. But when you get in a hilly area, you'll notice it does lose some speed. But it floats down the highway. I, I was shocked. I drove it about 80 miles to bring it here. And uh, it just floats down the highway. The windshield, again, does have a crack in it. But I bet this 81 MCI bus... They probably made thousands of those, and they're probably a pretty common part. Probably pretty easy to get. I'll give you one more view, looking back at the whole RV. And I know this video is kind of long, but there's just a lot to talk about. On the outside of the coach, you got normal wear and tear for, for the age of the unit. And on the inside, the couch is showing some wear and tear. The recliner is in good shape. Everything else looks, looks pretty darn good. These seat covers don't look so great. They're okay. But if you have any questions, give us a call. My name's Bronco Bob. I'm with Texas Best Used Motorcycles in Mansfield. Let's go back outside and walk around it one more time. But these conversion coaches new. These are the kinds that the country western singers like. They don't have slides on them. And you can roll down the highway with the driver. And you can practice or write music do what you want to do but these things new the newer versions some of them are half a million dollars it's unbelievable but we'll give you the receipts for the rebuilt Detroit diesel motor <coughs> the Kubota motors showing 5,000 hours it's still got a lot of left life left in it you got three roof air units that they've been replaced since the conversion was done and they're in good shape fresh tires she's ready to go again if you got any questions give us a call this is bronco bob wishing you happy trails <laughs>